Well, good morning once again, weekenders. Uh, Landon's with us for the summer. Don't really know how long that is, but for a little while at least. Running a little bit late this morning because I uh, forgot to grab the camera and stuff. I had to turn around, go all the way back. We are at the airport. I guess this would be the official uh, first flight of the newly painted Trump Bucket in the weekend vlog. So, welcome guys to the new Trump Bucket. Weekenders, we are back in Shafter. It's actually Landon's first time seeing and riding in the Chum Bucket. So let's get a first timer's review of the Chum Bucket experience. So my first time review of the Chum Bucket, I will say I'm comparing it to the Krusty Duster because I've not yet ridden in the big beast called the Beaver, the big beautiful beast. Um, I will say that the Krusty Duster was not as fast. The Trump Bucket is a rocket ship, and it seems more roomy. Not as much shoulder space, but um, headroom and just overall room in the uh, in the cabin itself. So, weekenders, we are uh, gonna be doing some more flying today, but we're gonna be going up in the Beaver. So, doing some training up at the lake. Hopefully, with a little bit of wind, not too much wind and uh gonna be practicing some docking and sailing and stuff like that but i think we'll get some more ropes ideally another paddle so we're off to the boat store or boat supply store or whatever wherever they sell ropes and paddles okay so we're back at the beaver guys just pulling it through right now we got some ropes and uh we got blue ropes for some reason this will be landon's first time in the beaver we got a little bit of a trip, go up to Hanford, pick up the instructor, then head back up to Pine Flat Lake, same place that we were, was it last weekend? Or, I don't know, I think it was last weekend. But uh, it's a good lake, close by. Hopefully there's not too many boats over there, but only one way to find out. Okay, we made it to Hanford. We gotta get some gas. 
Long day guys it's already 7 p.m. just now got the beaver put back in the hidey hole um, honestly if I could rate over 10 out of 10 I probably would that was great time great getting to actually use the float plane for the uh, party barge that it is 10 out of 10 would do again going to do again most likely I, I just need to do the test to get my license. Landon, what do you got to say about your first time in the Beaver? Got a great experience, I'd say. Uh, pavement landings, water landings, all the fun stuff. What do you got to say? Well, what I'll say about the Beaver is as much as this guy and Mr. Chris, a frequent guest on the weekend vlog, as much as they hype it up, it doesn't do it justice. Um, I, I think you can only say so much about it because you've really got to experience it for yourself. It really is everything they say and more. I mean, the, the how tall you are when you're on the road and just going in the water and greasing it down and, and swimming out from the airplane is one of the dopest things I've ever experienced. And uh, yeah, I'd definitely do it again. And especially if we're out there catching Slimers, bro. All right. Um, that's it for today, guys. We just got home. Went and got some Taco Bell and uh, some Dippin' Dots, actually. Delicious. So, overall, 10 out of 10 for today. See you in the morning. Happy Sunday, Weekenders. Uh, new day, new adventure. This morning, I actually got to go pick up some stuff in Los Angeles. So, I figured, why not take the old mountain bike, go ride some new trails and some sick trails. Some new sick trails. I also got a uh, much better way, hopefully, to hold the bike on the Bronco. Uh, this is my own invention, so let me guys know in the comments below what you think about it.
uh, it's a little tall up there, but you also get full ground clearance still. You can use the backup camera. So, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Well, most I've ever tested this uh, bike rack setup was less than a mile over here on the road by the house. So, hopefully, it works out good on the interstate. I right, stopped up here in Fraser Park for some fuel. Uh, bike's still on. It does shake a little bit, but I mean, it's still there, so I guess we're good. All right, made it to the destination. Bike still on the back of the Bronco. Uh, very scary, though. That thing is so wobbly. I gotta say, guys, I was a little worried at first about picking up this stuff because the guy told me, oh yeah, I'll just leave the door open on the side of the house, just walk in. I was like, that's a, it's a little sketchy, but I didn't die. I'm still here. I got the package. Uh, now off to try and find some mountain bike trails. Go have some fun. guys uh it's not super hot out but it's not that cool either the sun uh, really cooks you out there i am done with the ride of course uh about 2,000 feet i think 14 miles or so somewhere around there i also forgot to bring a towel to dry off all this sweat so i'm uh, not too happy about that but anyways good ride pretty nice little downhills uh, it sucked kind of was all in the sun, but you're in Los Angeles. That's what you're gonna get. Well, we're getting a true LA experience today, guys. 
Uh, the traffic, terrible. It's been saying I have two and a half hours left on the drive for almost an hour now. So, uh, no fun. Well, I didn't realize this until uh, pretty much right when I got back to Shafter. But Logan's having a mandatory swim day at his house for uh, the last little bit of the day. It's really only me, Logan, and Landon. But, um, yeah, we're going swimming at Logan's pool. So, I don't have my waterproof cameras with me right now. And I guess that's going to be it for this weekend, guys. Unless something really cool happens, but I don't see that happening. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this weekend. I sure enjoyed living it. See you next time. Croissant. Okay, so something kind of interesting hasn't happened really yet, but uh, it's about to happen. Turns out his pool is uh, infested with bees, so probably going to get stung. But anyways, now we're done for the weekend. Croissant. I'm not a man, I'm 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 a